Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha. There will be no visual aids in this video, and the gameplay footage, such as it is, is merely a backdrop, so feel free to get up and move around. You won't be missing anything. Also, to those of you that I know will have this already on the tips of their tongues and or fingers, yes, I have already submitted all pertinent information to the relevant authorities. I'm not one to merely bleat impotently about some form of perceived injustice. I can and will report crimes and threats to my personal safety or the safety of my loved ones. If you follow me on Twitter, this would have been all but impossible to miss, but I will freely admit I completely and thoroughly lost my temper, hurling insults and accusations at Robert Space Industries and their community due to the actions of a single person that they were in no way capable of directly influencing or controlling. I did this out of an extreme frustration and anger at a member of their community, using them as a verbal punching bag, which was in no way appropriate given the situation. For that, assuming they actually saw it, I would like to apologize. The reason for my lost temper was I received an emailed threat to me today that would be enough to make any parent's blood boil. Due to my recent Star Citizen video, I personally have received no fewer than three death threats, one of which was a threat of murder-suicide that a person posted in the comments section of that video. Those I shrugged off as inconsequential, having been subjected to numerous such threats over the whole Alex Maurer debacle, which Alex Maurer herself issued the very first death threat I've ever received in my adult life, but she was by no means the last. It is a phenomenon that one apparently gets used to if it happens often enough. However, the email I received today explained in very graphic detail how the person was going to put me to a slow death while my daughter watched and then would proceed to take advantage of her in front of my eyes as I felt my life slowly slipping away and, well, I'm sure you can fill in the blanks yourself. I'm not going to read the email to you, and I'm not going to show it on screen. I know that normally I provide proof or at least visual aids of most statements that I make, but this video, me sitting here recording this right now, is not about that. I don't care if anyone believes me. I don't care if someone needs proof. I don't need anyone to come to my rescue. I don't need anyone's validation, and I don't need protection. I'm a big boy that is more than capable of taking care of himself. Now, I'm here recording this more because I need to say the words probably far more than anyone needs to actually hear them. Hell, I probably won't even post this video, but this situation is angering. It is troubling, and you're damn right that it should have never happened. The reason for this was because of a single individual that was so incensed because I had not gotten the complete picture with the 27k ship pack in my video that they took it upon themselves to not only wish another person harm, to wish another person cease to exist, but to wish harm upon that person's 13-year-old child. I, I want you to let that sink in for a moment. There is a person out there that has tied their identity to the video game Star Citizen to such a degree that they literally wish horrific acts and murder of a small child out of a desire for revenge of some small-time YouTuber out there that might have gotten something wrong. I I just have to ask, how pathetic and deranged do you have to be to stoop so low as to wish such a thing? I honestly could not think of a more terrible existence. And I railed against RSI and CIG over this. I freely admit that. I was angry at them. I was enraged nearly to the point of being beyond reason at them. But why? They didn't write the email. They didn't make the threat. They, I can pretty much guarantee, have no idea what was even happening. Just all of a sudden, there was this madman with thousands of followers belligerently raging at them on Twitter. What were they supposed to do? What would you do in that instance? Would you even respond? Would you take the risk of antagonizing them even further? I, I know I wouldn't. I would be completely flabbergasted. I would have no idea what to do with something like that, and I'm certain neither did they. But a lot of people did have something to say. I had many people, some of them ardent followers and supporters of my channel, trying to rein me in by pointing out that I was lambasting an entire community for the actions of an extremely small subset. And I know this is probably going to make a lot of those people upset, but of course I was not talking about the entire community. To my mind, that should be something that is completely self-evident and is something that goes without saying. Now, I may be wrong, but look at the situation. Look at the reason why. You're speaking to a pissed off parent that just had their child threatened. Do you honestly think anyone would really care about making certain to add a hashtag not all Star Citizen fans are scumbags at the end of each statement? No, of course not. To assume or even expect such a thing would be ridiculous and completely unreasonable, especially when you're dealing with a person that in their rage is themselves being completely unreasonable. Of course, this does not apply to all Star Citizen fans. I have hundreds of Star Citizen fans that subscribe to my channel, possibly thousands. Well, probably a few less after today. But the majority of them are just everyday people. And no, of course, I was not speaking of any of them. 
Now, here's a good litmus test for you. If you have ever threatened to kill a person over Star Citizen or threatened a person's child over Star Citizen, then that rant applied to you. Normal, non-garbage humans need not apply. But at the same time, Cloud Imperium Games is not entirely without blame in instances like these. The way they have crafted their monetizations and their communities promotes and fosters the mentality that the more money a person is pledged to the game, the more prestige they have within the community. This has led to ultra whales, people that have spent tens of thousands of dollars on the game, people that live and breathe Star Citizen every single day and have tied their very sense of self-worth to backing, and I quote, the greatest game ever to be conceived. This environment that has been nurtured has given rise to this extreme sense of self being invested into the game. It directly leads to tribalistic cabals that will brook no dissent against their beliefs in support of the developers of the game, most likely due to the fact that if the game were to fail, then that sense of belonging and that sense of self-worth would be shattered right along with it. This has given rise to the game forums and, from what I can see now, the subreddit being taken over by these mega fans, and there has been little to nothing done to control the rampant tribalism. No, instead, they actively support and nurture this tribalistic behavior because it gets them more money. It helps them maintain some form of visibility within the games industry that, for the most part, looks on the development of Star Citizen as one big joke. But now they're fostering this environment has given birth to these sorts of people that threaten people's lives for nothing more heinous than having the temerity of verbally fucking up their obsession. So yes, to some small extent, I do blame the developers for encouraging the sort of social environments that has produced this type of mentality. But again, as I said, hashtag not all Star Citizen fans are scum. Far from it. Many of the well-wishers that messaged me today simply due to the fact that they are good people are Star Citizen fans, including Board Gamer, someone that is a very visible Star Citizen content creator and someone that I had spoken to in the past but hadn't recently, so if nothing else, at least I got to say hi to him again. Still watch his videos, by the way. Good stuff. You should check him out if you haven't. So I suppose what I'm saying is, I'm sorry that I blew my top. As a public figure, I do need to be more mindful, and by my allowing someone like that to get to me, I know that in some small part they win. But sometimes, sometimes, you might end up with a crazy person that might try to make good on those threats. And as a parent, I can tell you flat out that is a very real fear and one that no real parent will ever be able to divest themselves of. So if you are such a person that makes these sort of threats, seek help, because right now you are nothing but a soulless creature that is neither deserving of mercy or pity. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.